I have been neglectful and I'm going to be paying for that. Poor cell number 23 there, you can see it's got some uh, quite uh, considerable uh, positive plate growth, the, even though I've installed silicone on the seal there to keep up, uh, it's actually risen to the point where both the o-rings are way out of the cell, there should be plenty of room for that to, to happen, but uh, that means there's something up with itself, and put the meter on it, if we may, 1.61 volts, that is, without a load, I've turned the breaker off of this bank because this cell is absolutely not doing well, uh, all the others are pretty even, they're around, as you know, what you'd expect just sitting idly. Mm. This is difficult. You know, 2.12, 2.16, like, I just checked them all. They're pretty much all doing well, uh, although a couple of them are a bit lower than I would like to see, probably because this guy has been limiting the current, uh, at least going uh, out of the cells for quite a while. Uh, it's been longer than should have between uh, me checking the voltage, because I've been lazy and it just takes, it's such a bother to go through and check all the cells. Uh, it's been since uh, August, no, what's the one after August? The month after August, now it's November, so it's been like three months since I checked this and it, it's not really reasonable for this to happen in three months, it was basically fine then, and uh, I did uh, an equalization somewhere around there as well. Uh, but now we absolutely have to deal with this uh, because this cell is uh, self-destructing at the moment, so we've got the big piece of in there. Let's just hope it's not too late. All right, we have a charger almost hooked up, ready to go, so let's see how bad this is gonna be. Turn it up to 20 or so amps. And that's way too much voltage, oh dear. This cell is not happy. It is dropping down, it is waking up. But this cell is not happy. Was it 1.6 now at 2.26 at what? 22 amps? Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Okay, and uh, now we have CPR going properly now, so let's swap down for the power tube for the stronger one. This one will do 40 amps, and it's just going to be sitting doing just that for quite a while now. So I've also hooked up Big Bertha here to uh, just do some data logging. It's uh, not the best front end for uh, monitoring this, but uh, I'm measuring the current by just measuring the voltage drop across the negative lead uh, to a power supply because for shunting that thing is just uh, too low impedance. It can't read that lower voltage. So we're logging data. We're logging the uh, battery voltage there once a minute and we're logging the current in millivolts across some random piece of wire that's gonna vary a lot in resistance so that's not a good current measurement at all but it's better than not having any proxy for that it's going to be it's going to be some kind of data some kind of data uh, so i'm going to get some kind of capacity figure out of this i'm going to hopefully have an idea if it's 100 amp hours or if it's dead. So now all we can do is let the technology churn and keep waiting. The good thing is if the voltage keeps going down, which means that if a cell is waking up, it's getting a lower and lower impedance, uh, accepting more and more charge. So that's, that is a good sign. Still, I'm, I am highly, highly worried. Highly worried right now. Okay. Uh, I've started to calm down now. Uh, it's been uh, well over 24 hours since I put cell number 23 on charge and uh, it has been really sucking up the amps. Uh, 
uh, it's uh, charged the 40 amps for about 20 plus hours and uh, well that's uh, uh, adding that's not counting uh, a few hours every night when I had it at uh, 10 amps just to make sure it didn't overcharge every night while I was sleeping and uh, we're currently sitting at 16 amps and 2.37 volts uh, so looking at the data sheet it's pretty much been charging as it should uh, roughly correct time scales it's go it's going to be something like 500 amp hours uh, coming out of it uh, I'm not too concerned about giving it a cycle uh, I'm we're going to be looking at the data later on sadly we had a power outage and uh, of course the data logger and uh, laptop uh, are hooked on an outlet that's not actually powered by the inverter so I lost a bunch of data uh, which just didn't get logged include the cell voltage uh, but thankfully uh, I set up a separate uh, current logger so we do have continuous uh, data for uh, the charge current here uh, so we are going to be able to know how many amp hours went into the cell more or less poor meter that's running out of battery after all these hours uh, so yeah <laughs> I took the, the uh, chance to just kind of do a mega balancing of the entire uh, battery number one uh, because uh, it's offline anyway. So I'll have like an eight, eight amp uh, smart charger over the first six cells. I have that monster over the next six cells. They're, they're all roughly equally charged, so I'm not too concerned about them. But I'm just going to bring every single cell up to 100%. Uh, the weakest cells. That's all number 20, 21 and 22 there, really. These guys uh, are not doing too well. Uh, 21 and 22 were the second lowest ones after 23, which was just catastrophically failed. Uh, so I'm giving them some extra attention. Uh, what do we have? Yeah, about 20 amps going into uh, 21 there. And, uh, 20, and uh, 5 amps going into 22 or something like that. So... I think 22, that's probably, yeah, that's one eating 20 amps, and yeah, it's still only 2.25 volts, and it's been sitting for about an hour, so this one is also kind of, a kind of discharge, so it seems these, these three guys have a higher rate of discharge than the rest of the pack, or just lower efficiency, causing them to drain over time. I notice 22 also has rather significant a positive plate growth there. It's also completely pushed its gaskets out and it's ripped the silicone I put on there. So I have to get a pretty big pack of black silicone and just re-silicone a bunch of these cells. I've been meaning to do that for a while because we have a few in battery 2 there as well which are just uh, they're starting to rip the silicone with the positive plate growth. It's really curious how a positive plate growth is uh, so varied because we have like cell number 5 here which was a problem from the start, that one barely has any positive plate growth. The cell 6, the cap is stuck, stuck to the top case, so it's probably just going to pop its top case at some point. Uh, but then we have guys like 21 there, which has just had extreme positive plate growth, and the 23 over there as well, which seems to have, yeah, that's ripped uh, the silicone again. So it's, the amount of positive plate growth is just really varied over the cells. You can see cell number 12 in there as well. It's just got a positive terminal rising straight out of the case. Oh well, nothing I can't deal with with more silicone. But the important thing for now, for now is the cell 23 seems to be doing well. Thank goodness. All right, it's now been a little while since we filmed all that charging stuff with cell 23 and I've chewed through the data and uh, in the main charging cycle, it uh, drew uh, 443 amp hours. And uh, that's gonna be, it, it, there's a bunch of data missing from that. Uh, could be up to about 150 amp hours actually missing in that data. So well, it, it, that's good. The cell wasn't getting particularly warm during charging, so it was charging efficiently. So I'd say we put about, you know, about 500 decent amp hours in it, which means that it's, it's, it's doing okay, thankfully. 
Uh, now it's been a few weeks since uh, I filmed all that. I noticed that it's been lying at a reasonable low cell voltage, so we're putting a bit extra current in it right now, doing a an equalization charge according to the uh, data sheet. Putting about eight amps should be seven amps really like that into it for a few hours just to top it up the voltage was uh, rather high and happy as soon as i put a charger on so it seems to just have a slightly higher self discharge rate than the other cells uh, in the battery uh, but uh, thankfully it's not it's not ruined so this just speaks more for uh, why i love this on a shine battery so much uh, this cell sat at 1.6 volts, that's a 100% discharge for anywhere from days to weeks and uh, it's still pretty much doing the kind of a capacity you would expect out of a cell this size and this age. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So, I've had this battery for about a year now and uh, we are starting to see uh, flaws coming out. There's going to be more and more maintenance required to keep this thing running uh, as uh, time goes on. These cells are uh, they're just about turning 12 years old, so it's going to be an interesting trip. It's going to be an interesting trip for sure. But for the time being, cell 23 is doing okay. Cheerio.